We love hip hop. We gotta start with Drake stuff. That's gonna take the longest. Let's get into it. Um, big salute to PK Subban popping up in the chat as well. Okay, so le- yesterday evening, about maybe last night, Drake dropped a whole bunch of music or a whole bunch of content. Let's go to the page actually where everything started coming from. There's a Finstagram account or a Finsta account or a fake Instagram account, as they say. And we all, I don't know, I can't say we all have one, but I have one, okay? How people know that this is a Finsta is a lot of these posts that are, that are on here have been up for months. So he's been using his Finsta to actually post um, content, different things of that nature. Let me see if I can pull up my Instagram. There we go. Pow. Plot twist. Now, last time I checked, there was 158,000 sub, um, followers on this. Now there is 276,000. If you really go deep down in here, you'll see posts from months ago. For example, right here. This is from July. We're obviously in August. Even stuff like this. July 21st. And this is what I have here at the thumbnail as well. You know, Oliver, um, Forty, and Drake here. This is Forty with the with the the fluff of hair. You know what I'm saying? Where prior to that, let's say year ago or something like that, you would see more bald Forty. So this is actually a more recent picture in the last few months, maybe the last year or so. Okay. Big to Gucci Ghost popping up in the in the chat right now. And listen. Quick, fast. If you all want to join the conversation, the link is in the chat, pinned to the top. There's a few things that really caught my interest in here. Let me pull up something that really caught my eye. Like immediately. And I have it as a story post too. There's the CDs here. This is back from the CD times. This is seven days ago this was posted. But this... All these CDs here, damn, I can't make it no bigger than this. Okay, I think I did. Hold on, let me see if I can um, scroll this so y'all can see what I'm looking at here. So he got a bunch of CDs here. You yeah, Actually, you know what, let me go on my stories. I have a better view from my stories. Let's go into the stories. Because the CDs that he had there, I was like, wow. This man took it back to the old days. Don Million CD right here. Big salute to alias Don Million. Toronto legend. Okay. Who else he got over here? Um, Toronto legend. Infamous Toronto legend, but l- maybe less than. Salute to the boy Mayhem Mor- Moriarty. I know somebody will be like, yo, how you going to say salute to this guy, bro? He's a rat. Yo, the man had the scene on fire. He had the place weak. All through the th- th- 2000s, he had the place weak. One city I don't see over here, Drizzy Drake. I don't see any SARS, any Friday Ricky Dread CDs in here. Maybe it's in the box. Okay, because if you go back to, let's go back to uh, Plot Twist. Plot Twist. There's a little box on the side over here. So that's where the um, Star CDs and the Friday Ricky Dread CDs must be. You know what I'm saying? Of course, of course. (laughs) But this page definitely has a lot of different things going on. And we'll get to the link in a minute. They got the boy here from when he was a kid doing some advertisings for Byways. Holy shit. Byways? Y'all don't... That's some Toronto shit right there. Man, y'all don't know, man. Y'all don't know. One second. Byway Toronto. Let me pull up some images for y'all. This nigga took it back, bro. They don't even have that over here no more. 
Holy shit. That was the dollar store before the dollar store. Jeez. What are you doing, broski? Maybe the Toronto Young Street? Wasn't there a byways on, on Young Street that was like, you had to go downstairs? Back in the day, look at this shit. This nigga took it back to the essence. Hold on a second. You're... Yo! What's going on, man? What's, what's popping? Oh, yo, bro, sorry about last week, bro, but I'm up here in ATL now, you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Hey, you're in ATL? Bro. Say that again? So you're in Atlanta? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's chilling, you know what I mean? Okay, okay, I soon, okay. I, I soon head back to you after all the madness, but yeah, man. But yo, man, uh, Drake showing us who Drake is, you know what I mean? He's taking it back to the essence, bro. That's what it is, bro. This is what the fans needed. I hope that he ends up doing an actual, like, real... Doc- I wouldn't say real, but you know, like an actual documentary. And I'm sure the fans would want like an actual documentary, you know? So what what are your thoughts? Did you go through the link in here on this um Bro, I've gone through thing? everything, bro, bro. I've gone through everything, bro. I, I took it in like a movie. I binged the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, man. That's listen. Where what? I think, bro. I locked up everything I told all girls, yo, sorry, ladies, I have to check out what my broski's up to. You know what I mean? In fact, I actually turned it into a date night, so I called one of my girls and we'll just screen share it and watch that thing, you know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. a little wild, but salute, salute. I, I ain't mad at you, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but so, we so you are so, so what are your what are your thoughts on the, the tracks also? They got the track with um Young Thug and 21 Savage, the unreleased hard, tune. Real hard, yeah. W W. Okay, and what do you think on the next one there? Gr- um blue, green, red. I actually have a feeling the blue, green, red is kind of what the party next door Drake collab would sound like. That's what I feel like. Can we play it? You think I play it? It's, it's, listen, remember, this is unreleased stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, it's unreleased, so you can actually play it. You're not going to yeah. get taken down for it. Play something. No, that's the wrong one. The, next one, the next one. Something sweet. Something uplifting. Something sweet and no. uplifting. Yeah. All right, what's there, brother? No, the next one. Play the something. next one. Hold on a second. Let me get rid of this. What are you saying? Which which one? The one with um Lotto? No, no, that's that's the one with Lotto. You just play the one with Lotto. You go play the next one. That's not the one with Lotto. This is a whole. That's the whole next tune. The one with Lotto is is housekeeping. Oh, housekeeping, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? That one right there. That blue. What was it called again? Blue, blue green, green, red. red. Yeah. That's like an Afrobeatish Afrobeat house R&B. vibe. Yeah, man. Like you can you can play it in a few different venues. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, I'm telling you, bro. Drake got the source, bro. The man, the most versatile entertainer I've seen. I don't think we've seen it as as a versatile entertainer as Drake. I, I don't think so. Like like he's he's covering so many girls, bro. Mm. But so, that one, the green, red, the green, red, blue. I think that's somewhat what the party next door Drake collab album will sound like. In- yeah, yeah, I can hear party next door jumping on that right there. Pause. You know yeah, 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 yeah. The the twenty one savage song that was hard. Oh man, I love that. That's the Drake I love. You know what I mean? I'll play a little bit of that one right now. Uh-huh. Mix with the young thug. Free slime. You there? Uh, 
Yo. Hold on a second, brother. Yeah. All right. Hold on a second, brother. There's no way y'all can't hear that. Y'all can't hear that? Hold up, hold up. Y'all can't hear that? I can hear you. I can hear you. You can't hear the music. Oh! They played us. What are you saying, brother? One second. I'm going to pull up some of the music so we could actually hear some of this shit. Okay. Big Friday, Big Friday. What are you saying, brother? Where are you, where, where are you hollering from? I'm coming from Edmonton. Edmonton, a.k.a. Edmonton. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, just the, the other day I was at Carabana. I was looking for you and your co-host, man. Why y'all hiding? We weren't hiding, bro. We were out there. We were out there early, though, family. I won't, you, I won't hold you up for too long. You know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with what y'all got going on. Salute. I, I DM'd you a few times. You know, I'm trying to get you on my own podcast. I had Moolah first, Pyrex. So you know you got to get at me. Send me, a, send me a DM on my personal page. Give oh, me on my personal page, Friday Ricky that. Dread. I've been done now. I'm just waiting for you to get back at me. What's your Instagram name? So I could I could look you up. I'll look you up right now. I'll put it on the screen. Convo W Marlo. C O N V O W M A R L O. I think I found you right here, pal. Yes, sir. I'll give you a follow right now. See, you ain't even following nobody, yes, bro. Sir. You stush. Holy. Yes, <laughs> I'll I'll tap in and I'll check the DMs after, brother, for sure. Okay, okay. Much love, man. One love. Don't say a word, God, brother. I got you. All right. Salute. Salute to Combo um, Combo Marlo. Okay, let's get back to this right here. My bad, gang. I'm there jamming by myself. I didn't even realize y'all couldn't hear the shit. My bad. <laughs> Play something. No, Yo. this is housekeeping. I want to hear this Ruth the the Prince big shout out At least we know for sure those ones they get copyright. This kind of reminds me of um, way too sexy from in the beginning. And I didn't like that song, but I like this one. Let's go. them mm. jeez <laughs> crazy the man said just like the motherfucking judge the hammers come out for objections <laughs> Um, so you're, so you're feeling this, you're feeling this. Yeah, man. Feeling in 100. What do you want next? Um, before I let, before I get, um, let you off the line here, what do you want next for the next move album? More of this well, type I shit. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if you've heard, um, after he does the collab with party next to, he's expected to do the rap album with conductor, uh, Williams hip hop album. You seen? you heard about that, right? The what? Sorry. Sorry. Say again. He's, uh, the rumor is he's supposed to do the rap album with Conductor Williams, a whole hip-hop rap album with Conductor Williams. You heard that rumor. Yes, I heard that one too. Yeah, and I heard it's to be sometime early next year, so like February, March period. I think we'll probably get something in between that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's more like, like fully a, like rounded. A, like a Christmas thing, yeah. 
Yeah, because if what are we now? August. Yeah, we're probably we can't. I don't even think contractually Drake can wait to hold next year to drop a next uh, a next full body of work. <laughs> so we we're, we're probably gonna see him drop maybe in the next month or two. In this is just a prediction. You know what I'm saying? No yeah, inside yeah, information, yeah, nothing. Yeah, just yeah, a yeah. prediction. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, bro, they're telling... I, I want you to answer this one. And, and then I'll let you... Because I know you have some other guests you might want to yeah, take yeah. on. Um, this thing about telling Dre that he needs to go, people need to miss him. Like, this whole thing... You, I don't know if you watch the rap, uh, rap, um, the rap Live podcast with Ebro and Lo and, and, and um, those guys. I no, I watch clips, old. but I, I've heard. Yeah, like, what's your thoughts on that? Because I don't... Like Drake, is, I don't know if people realize Drake is coming from learning from Lil Wayne. Like Lil Wayne used to drop like every six months before there was a time. You know what I mean? Like, good point. Uh, like he's coming from that environment, that school. Nicki Minaj was doing that for a period of time. So like, and also he, this is his career. Like Drake's been yeah. dropping literally every year. Like, what you talking about? Good, nah, come on. What, what's your thoughts well, on listen. that? Though I want to hear. I've been guilty of saying the same thing on the podcast, okay? Um, you know, I was like, maybe he should just fall back, let people miss him because he's been hitting people at such a... Hold on. We, we, he's reconnected. We got him back. We got him back. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, that, you know, he's been releasing music at such a high clip for so long that he could take a take a break. But... At the same time, if he's going to feed the fans and he has more than just hip hop, hip hop fans, you know, I could have been a victim of the moment. Yeah. I, I, sometimes I can take things back. You know what I'm saying? I'm not always going to stand on every take that I have. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And at yeah. the time, this is like right off of the heels of the whole Kendrick battle and everything. Yeah. And everybody was like, yeah, maybe he should fall back and da 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 da. But. Yeah. It's well, easy to say that. that if the other guy is stomping around doing a whole bunch of shit. And I understand that. Not, not like us. It's still playing. It's still playing out. It's still moving up and down the charts. But as far as the winner of the quote-unquote <laughs> battle, he's not active. So what are we going to do? Just sit there and bro. wait? Nah, brody. I'm I rather just watch is... Drake do his thing. Yeah. Well, this is why we love Drake. He's never left the scene. He's always given us something. He's mm. always given. He's always. He's being hip hop. He is hip hop. He's made himself know. I, I am here for you. I'm not leaving you astray. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He, bro, bro. Nah, man. Let the man do his thing. He has his R&B fans. He has his dance off or island vibes fans. He's got it, bro. He has his Spanish fans. Mm -hmm. But what? What? Bro, he may even have his French fans. I just say, you know what I mean? No, he has people right. in the UK waiting for shit. Like, there's people always, there's a Drake fan in different genres that are like, okay, so what about us? Like, I, I, I'm over here exactly. at the club trying to smoke some hookah to a new Drake tune. Like, I already, you know? Exactly. So, I'm sorry to those who wanted to go. We ain't going nowhere. The Six God is out here. The Wasses are moving. Life is mm. good. That's all I'm saying. Talk about it. <laughs> Listen, fam. Yo, we'll, we'll, big up yourself. Yes, sir. I don't want to take too much of your time. I know you got a lot of content, a lot of people to come on, man. But I also want to extend my invite. Whenever you come to Jamaica, bro, feel free to just shout me, bro. I'm going to send you a DM. I will. Like, and I'll take care of y'all here, bro. You know how it goes. Salute to Jamaica and salute to all the people. Salute to you, brother. All right. Bless up, bro. Stay good. Bless up. Salute to the brother here, man. Salute to Josh, man. Yeah, man. Let me uh get him out of here. There we go. There we go. Okay. So let's get back to this um page here because there's been a lot of interesting things besides just the stuff that's in the link. All right. What's this? Actually, you know what I wanted to show y'all, and let me know what y'all think of this. Let me go on the We Love Hip Hop page. Before we start deep diving into the link itself, this right here, let me know what y'all think of this. Take a piece of me. I'll let you take a piece of me. I'll let you go piece by piece. 
Both hands gripping on you if you slip away, can I handle it? I never thought I'd be the one you playing and It's like some CLB with. time. Still got material things to balance abandonment. Cause you know that I always find a method to manage it. And you know that they pay me how I look on some handsome shit. They plan me a going away party every year and they gotta cancel it. They lose mm. their whole deposit of amateurs. I had to seek advice on how to set up parameters with you. Yeah. And when you lost it. Jeez. Man's floating on that one. I see Amir in the in the comments here. Big salute to Amir the terrorist, aka Amir V. He says, Champagne Poppy, drop this one. This possibly could be an Amir beat too. Okay. Because once upon a time, let's say about four years ago, maybe five years ago now, the boy Drizzy Drake started following Amir, and Amir is his first producer from when he was like 16 this is pre-boy wonder okay he tapped back in with him i don't know i didn't speak to amir behind the scenes as far as if he i know he started sending beat packs but i don't know what other what he used out of the beat pack so that could have been something out of the Amir beat pack right there okay but that's fire right there that's some fire shit let me see here let's go back into this link here And I'll figure out the whole audio shit. Pow. So when you go into some of these things here, you see a bunch of different videos. So over here, Sota, Sota, Sotas. Let's pull up some videos. Real shit, and um, you know what I should do? Here's what I'm gonna do. One second, gang. I'm going to use a different browser. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's use this browser. Pow. Okay. So let's go back to Sota Sota. There's a bunch of different videos in here. All right, right. Let me play it off of here. Because y'all probably can't even hear shit. Un momento, gang. And this is like the booth over there at um, Sota Studios. Right, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even worried about the audios in this one here. Cause I ain't trying to get no copyright. But like, look at the designs and shit over here. Crazy shit. Yo, Dusty, salute to Dusty Wallace. Dusty's been there as well. You know what I'm saying? They got a lot of like crazy, like artistic type shit all over that studio. Comfy as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? Bare plaques all over the walls. Wild. Man's coming out of the booth. This one, for some reason, it says she being nice again. He, he does that again. So I was just wondering if you could chop it to the nice, the gentle. All right, big salute to 40. Man's giving you a, a, a look inside of the studio. You know what I'm saying? How man's be vibing in the studio. We can yeah. just. You can, we, we don't even have to listen as long as you. The control room. Okay. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, that's literally what we've been doing. Okay. Like, just, um, you know, what, what Turning down the tie down and shit you did. Bare speakers in here, you know what I'm saying? Yo, if I, listen, we actually have interviews in that studio. Real shit. We have a few interviews in that studio. I could pull up a couple, but uh, we'll save that for another time. 
But basically, a lot of this is just a lot of videos behind the scenes of different shit that's going on. Some of the best stuff I actually kept, kept for my Instagram, and I'll pull it up on the gram right now. What do y'all think? Do y'all think that now that this is a, you know, a, I guess a release, even though it's kind of unofficial, do you think that maybe the ties have maybe turned? Because, you know, when I look at some of the comments over here, the comments over here is good. But if I go on a video like the What's the Dirt video or any other things like that, it's a hostile territory right now. Like, watch this. Some early shit. Man, I see Lenny S sitting right here. And I'm nervous. Like, I'm, 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 my heart's beating. And, and, and we, we got to talk and I sat down. And he said, um, hold on, stop that for a second. He said, yo, man, before we even get into anything... I want to know where your head is at coming from Toronto, you know what I'm saying? He was like, I never met no rappers from Toronto. Rappers that I have met from Toronto are just all right. So he was like, yeah. Big page this. So let me hear where your head's at. So I was like, you know what? I told him, I feel like I so got bravado with no new chain. That shine all red is so mas clamato. Put it on my tab, I so pop the bottle. And taking it slow is so not the motto. I am light skin, I'm so not mulatto. Me, I got a mic and flow got Serato. Oh. Control spokesman, you told not to follow. Was back with a lime and a whole shot to swallow. I might take flights to Thailand, to Cabo. Chilling in the ocean if the tide's low. Pride's at an all time hollow. Tides on my eyes low. Cup of deal off, cause I don't know what I decide though. I don't need them, is what I tell myself. But all that back end and all that help become so appealing to an artist like me. I just don't want to be placed upon all of them shelves. <coughs> bro, just says that Drake this in Friday. Nah, that wasn't for me, bro. That was for Big Page. With all these niggas that just ain't dropping, and all these youngins that just ain't copping, I am torn between my integrity for music and trying to figure out what color range I'm hopping. Went to the showroom, told a man, hold it. If anybody asks, tell him just sold it. Fall back, Lisa, I'm getting it for cheaper. The white foot owner, the dealership drove in it actually, contractually. I make all of the money. No fraction for D. I never been like a nigga fractured his knee and success just has a fatal attraction to me because she won't try to kill it. Spots wide open and she know I'm trying to fill it. That's why I don't shit I made your label deal it. Uh -huh. Shot mine hoping that I'm top five four socks drop wide open. Oh, that is quite the goal I said. It's all dependent on the control. You I still get. Yeah, pressure, pressure doesn't take a professor to understand I'm asking for a meal, nothing lesser or maybe. <sighs> this is what you guys, not you guys, because you guys are cool. Okay, I'm waiting for later on. I titled this video "The Nation of Drizlam." Okay, I'm hoping that this is a safe space to to give the boy his flowers and celebrate this this man right here because he's giving y'all some real archival type shit right here behind the scenes. All right, who knew that they were taping everything that's going been going on behind the scenes to give you one day all of this all of this content. Listen, I don't get me wrong. A lot of artists tape a lot of behind the scenes content. And I know there's going to be the detractors that come in the comments later. Oh, yo, Kendrick's better still. How? Really? We're in the content age and the man has given us content, bro. I shouldn't settle for well. I should just finish an album and sell it myself. That way, if it fails and I never blow up, I could just stay. We ain't talking about that youth no more until he actually drops some music. Okay? We're not doing that no more. We're not comparing this nigga to Kendrick anymore until this nigga Kendrick actually drops some music. All right? In the mirror and yell at myself, you know? <laughs> records that, records from back in the day and current records that just make um impact what is it, the name here impact through my lens says drake is spiraling how sir how explain that to me you know the link is the link is in the chat pinned to the top i would love to hear your opinion on how has his bank account gotten any less like what are we talking about right now let me pull up some some, some more shit here man Like, the Kendrick love has gotten to the point where it's serious cock buffing. It's actually nasty. 
It's gross. Hold on. Why isn't this shit working now? That earlier. Yeah, let me know how the man is spiraling because the Kendrick the Kendrick fans will love to say, yo, it's, it's over for this guy, man. I don't know how you guys support this guy. Okay, where's your boy? Give us some Kendrick music so that we can say, you know what? All right. Let me listen to this so that, you know, we can get the full victory lap. One song is not enough instead of Sexy Red. Um, Let's go check on your boy. Since you're so passionate about him, let's go check on him and see what he's doing. Let's go see. Let's go see. Let's go see. Black screen. Okay, he back to 2020. Ooh, we back to the Black Lives Matter rally and shit over here. Cut it out, bro. There's nothing going on over here. Tumbleweeds, crickets. Stop it. Until the man drops new music, I don't want to hear it. What are the what are the girls saying these days or the kids saying? It's giving. Given cock buffer. Hundred gigs for your friggin' head top. Look at it. This is from five days ago. So they've been planning this out. Um, comment some respect right here. Kendrick has quality over quantity approach. Drake has the office. That's why he has more music. How much Drake's albums are classic and arguably has the best that he um, he didn't write. Listen, this is not the argument, okay? If the man won the battle and he's got a whole victory lap that he did, where is the new music? If you're a Kendrick fan, like I am a Kendrick fan, let's not let's not forget that. I have all of the man's albums. I downloaded them, okay? And pre-downloading them, I bought a CD of the, whatchamacallit, Good Kid, Mad City, and all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I put that shit in my iTunes. I listened to the, all of the songs. I know Kendrick lyrics. I can recite them. However, as a Kendrick fan, I'm kind of pissed. I'll be like, yo, bro. So what? I get the snippet in the beginning of the music video. I get the music video that came after a song that's been running for how long? Where, wh what am I going to listen to? What am I hearing for the summer? But hey, guess what? I'm a fan of Drake's music too. So what I can do in the meantime, while I'm waiting for this super well-cooked meal, and it better be a well, better be better cooked meal than the Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Because that was not as well done as their other albums. Okay? While I'm waiting for that meal, I'm going to go back to this Drake shit and listen to these unreleased tunes, go through the archives, and get some content. It's not for you, sir. Listen, I understand. And somebody said this recently in um, an episode. DJ Zar. Big salute to DJ Zar. He said that a, a lot of Kendrick fans have this connect, connection to Kendrick where they feel that Kendrick represents them and their belief systems and all of that different type of stuff, okay? So if you're a super hardcore Kendrick fan, you're probably not in the club where girls are walking with the bottles and, you know, the sign saying happy birthday to somebody and all that. That type of shit is, quote, unquote, beneath you, Okay? They won't let you in with the head wrap in there. So I understand if you don't like certain Drake songs, they're not for you. They're for guys who fuck girls. Like you're not going to walk up on a thing when this song comes on. Shut up. Come lie to me. Get on the, get on the live and lie to me. Much fierce.
How are you going to say no to content? Down to earth, pull up. Pull up. How are you going to say no to more content? Put it this way. Let's do the hypothetical that Drizzy Drake took this break that everybody was requesting, myself included, that Drizzy Drake took this break and the battle's done, the smoke is cleared. What are we going to do in the meantime? Just reminisce on the battle? Let me know. Are we just going to reminisce like, oh, you know, that battle was dope a few months ago, man. That was really cool. With no new content? Because we're waiting for somebody to drop something? And Drake's, you know, we told Drake, take a break. And he listened to us. He said, all right, I'm out of here. So what will, we, what will we be doing for the last three months? Let me know. Black Pudding said, battle ain't over. I agree. However, if we were just waiting for Kendrick to drop some shit, we'd be just sitting here talking about what like Soldier Boy or somebody else is doing. All right. What's going on? This might be part of the reason why they ain't playing not like us in Houston like that. But there's bare content in here. Like, what go on? And the comment section is off. What's this? Cash money, engineer, no sh Yo, these guys are really digging into vault vault. Salute the boy wonder. You see, the thing is, y'all have made it where you're such a fan of one that you forgot that you were a fan of the other. You got them homies. Start lying to yourself. What you got on over there? Yeah. Your, your BBL can't even let you get that motherfucking shit up. Okay. Holy. Why ain't going nowhere? Jesus. Yeah, a lot of behind the scenes shit going on in here. What y'all gonna say now? Kendrick fan. I need the Kendrick fan to give me a, a, a nice impactful in <laughs> this guy impact. <laughs> it got me freaking going crazy over here. Give me a nice comment. Is it oh, it's the ghostwriters over there doing all that? That's what it is. That's what it is. Drake fans are the ones who forgot who Kendrick is consistently dismissing his catalog and achievements. Is that what y'all think? The, is that the impression that y'all got? Yes, listen, man, we can go over this shit all day. There's a whole bunch of stuff that y'all can go over yourselves. Big salute to the boy, Drizzy Drake, man. Um, One more thing I want to show y'all before we get out of here, before we get off to this coffee. Yeah. I would listen to the lies that you would tell all night. Angel lies, but you been giving me hell all night. I know I'm not the only one.
know the book that you would write is a tale of some, not a tell all. Just to make sure you're well off, you would sell all rights. Why does your ex think we beefing? Is this man all right? Can't even look at me, he fell off twice. Me, I'm back popping. I still remember the day I saw you. I was on your like back pockets. Man's about to get into some live music vibes right there. Listen, man, when it comes to this music shit, you can sit there, you can pout, you can be like, oh my gosh, you know, I went through a battle and the, the fans are feeling this way and that way. Or you could just keep it moving, man. With or without contractual ob obligations. You could just keep it moving and say, you know what? This is what I enjoy doing. I enjoy giving the people music. I enjoy giving the people content. You know what I'm saying? Um, doing shows and, and, and really being out there. That's just artistry. So in the end of the day, it's not like, oh, you know, man has to go in and tuck his tail or whatever like the average Kendrick fan wants. Nah, fam. He's got a fan base to feed. So salute to the boy. Anywho. Let's move on. Let's move on. We love hip hop. Hip -hop, hip -hop, hip -hop, hip -hop.